Hey there. Welcome. I'm coming to you live um, to try and solve a problem that people have been reporting about Visual Studio Code and their ability to connect using SSHFS to get access to their file systems and even to get access to a terminal to work on Titan in computer science. So I'm going to show you what the problem that's being reported is and then I'll show you a solution that works now. And uh, if you look in the description of this video, there are solutions for if it's a Visual Studio update that caused the problem. I won't show you how to roll that back. That's more involved, but there is a forum that talks about this. And what to do is what I'm going to show you today if it's an extension update that caused the problem. That is the case in this particular instance. So let's go hit my desktop over here and I'm gonna start at Visual Studio Code. Here's what the problem that's being reported today is. Of course, it can be a different problem, different days. So of course, your mileage will vary uh, for this video. So I'll just type in my password here for this account that I've been using to teach all semester long. I know it worked before today and I'm getting these messages underneath my head. Let me move my head just a second. Okay, so I'm getting this message here that says couldn't detect the home directory for Titan for Lab. And I messed around with this a bit. A few students were telling me that when they tried to fix this um, SSHFS ad was failing to add new uh, connections. So something's gone wrong with the SSHFS extension over here. Um, so I'll just search for that and find my installed SSHFS extension. This is the Kelvin Scoofs one. Um, and if I look at the update history, it was updated yesterday, which is when students started reporting problems to me. So far, I've heard four reports, which means four of you are trying really hard to do your homework over the weekend using Visual Studio Code. Congratulations. Um, and obviously, I'm here on a weekend doing my homework, too. So what do I need to do to fix this? Well, I just need to roll back Visual Studio Code to the previous version. Obviously, Kelvin thought he fixed something and he didn't. Somebody probably needs to file a bug report with him, says you have a regression on certain servers. Um, we can't add new sessions even for the server and it's reported we can't find home directories that previously had worked. There is a few known bugs for atypical home reporting that he's been working on over the last year. So uh, under extensions here, I'm going to go to the extension and um, what we want is to roll back to a previous version. I just need to close out a bunch of this stuff right here. Um, so we've got the ability to uninstall, but if you click on the arrow next to that, it also says install another version. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the one that was working before, which was updated 11 days ago. All right, one day ago is the current one. That's when all the problems started. I'm going to go to 11 days ago. There's also a brand new version of Visual Studio Code that could have caused the problem as well. So I've now rolled back instead of 1.2. 3.0, which is the broken one, I'm on 1.22. And you must reload for this change to take effect. I'm going to hit that reload button. And I'm going to try to connect to my uh, my remote server this time. Okay, so it didn't want to connect for me automatically. I'll just hit this button and let's see what happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, there we go. With any luck, it'll take me over and I will see the directories there like usual. Okay, so I've opened that up. Now, I was playing around and I have changed how it finds my home directory. So I'm in the global root for the whole server. I'm just going to fix my settings. I don't plan on redoing this whole video just for that small change. So this is Titan for Lab. I need to disconnect from there to fix my settings. If You might have broken your settings if you notice this problem too. And instead of having a default root of slash, I'm going to go back to the old root of tilde, save, and I'll try my connection again. Bingo, bango. Uh, come on, we can do this. Bongo, right? Mm, so far, so good. I'm getting at least a second password prompt. And it looks like if I open that up, I am in and I'm able to work on my code again. So this is the solution that you're looking for this time. If it's October 2nd or 3rd um, you and you're having trouble getting access to your files on Titan. Okay, so just roll it back. Again, under extensions, you find the extension that is bad. This time I know it's SSHFS. And uh, you can install another version. Just roll back to the last one that you're pretty sure you're using. You should be okay. If you are having problems beyond this, say with... Uh, 
Oh dear, I'm showing all sorts of stuff I probably didn't want to show you. If you're having problems with Visual Studio Code itself, you don't think your extensions have been upgraded, but Visual Studio Code has caused a regression. This has happened in the class in the past. Then you uh, want to go visit this link, which is in the description of the video, and it'll show you how to find old versions of Visual Studio Code. You'll have to remove the version that you've got and then install the new one. You may have to reconfigure some of your settings, and then you should be able to proceed to work. So good luck with that. I'm going to stop the stream. Hopefully you're able to solve things.